Hey guys, it's Jimmy here, the Arizona Rent to Own Home Guy, and I got my mentor, Claude Diamond, here with us. Hey Claude, how's it going? It's going great, man. I'm in beautiful San Diego, California here. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. And, I, and I'm giving good and I'm giving good phone. Hey Claude, uh, here's the topic for today. I wanted to ask you, where do you find the time? To do all your creative real estate, I know you're super successful. You've got, you know, you got your several homes all over the U.S. It's like, where do you find the time to do it? And you got a family. Uh, how do you do it? How do you keep it all together? Good question. What's the name of your beautiful wife? Stephanie. Stephanie. How did you find the time to date Stephanie to take her out when you, with your busy life? You're a, <laughs> you're a musician. You got a regular job. You were going to school. How did you find time for Stephanie? Uh, yeah, you just make it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think you just answered your own question. <laughs> you just make it because there was a passion there. There was a poly, a little biology going on. A little, hopefully, a lot, a little bit of likability. You have a few kids there, right? Um, yeah. You know, and things like that. You have to. I think to uh, one of the keys. There's many different parts of success. I think one of the parts is you got to have a passion for it. You got to enjoy what you're doing. Okay, I could tell you to be a septic tank cleaner and pay you $100 an hour. I don't think you'd get up on Monday morning and say, yippee, you, you know, no matter how much money you make, right? Can money, yeah. can money make a horrible job better? It can soothe it a little bit, but is it something you're going to have the passion or enthusiasm for? No, yeah, it's got to be passion. You've got to have a certain amount of passion. So you got to do something. You, um, um, you got to do something. I forgot who wrote the book. Um, do what you love, the money will follow. Mm -hmm. uh, old book. Um, so you got to have a certain amount. I love real estate because I find it so challenging uh, to put. It's like putting together. Do you ever put together a puzzle during the summer? Uh, you have this big table and you got a million little pieces. And of course, one's missing. Um, <laughs> and it's just the challenge and you know, you're putting it together. Um, so I, I see myself as a doctor in real estate. People have problems buying, selling, investing. Uh, can I ask them a set of questions and give them a solution? Or say, I don't know, but I can find out and get back to you. Instead of giving a presentation or reading a script or begging for a commitment or an order, how about talking to them uh, like a professional would and said, what's the problem? Why, why are you renting? Why don't you buy a home? Um, why is your home vacant? Why are you having trouble managing tenant buyers? Um, things like that. So um, I think passion is a really integral part. Uh, do something. you got to love the business. I read magazines. I, I watch YouTube videos. Um, I talk to a lot of people about yeah, real estate. Yeah, I agree with you on the passion. I used to work at a corporate job for 14 years, and after that time, it just killed my soul. It's just like I'd be in corporate meetings and like, why am I here? It's just <laughs> it's just not a line of my goals. And oh like, yeah, and oh. everything. But so through creative real estate, it's just that is where you know the freedom lies. And uh, yeah, like you said, you, you get to help people. At, by you being my mentor, I've learned you know how to ask the questions, how to find out what people need, and how to give them what they want, and just putting people together and making uh, giving people the American dream that uh, everyone wants. You know exactly. And I have a little secret to tell you. Okay, I hope nobody's listening. Um, the part of the passion is the reward. When you get that nice paycheck by the sweat of your own brow, by your hard work, your creativity. When you go to your lovely wife Stephanie and say, "Hey, honey, look at this. Look at this check, baby. Let's pay some bills. Let's go out to dinner. Get a babysitter. Let's have some fun. I know you want that new car. Here we go." Man, that's pretty motivating. That that really helps the passion part also. Am sure. I being too am I being too honest? <laughs> no, we love the honesty. Yeah. Well thanks, Claude. Appreciate your time. Hey guys, once again, this is Jimmy, the Arizona rent to home own home guy. Give me a call at 602-529-1135. Love to hear from you. Thanks again, Claude. Appreciate it. Thank you, Talk Jimmy. You. Take care. All right, bye. Hey guys, it's Jimmy, the Arizona Rent to Own Home Guy, and I'm here with my mentor, Claude Diamond. Hi guys. Hi, Claude. Hi Jimmy. Hey. So Claude, hey, we were just talking about Napoleon Hill and uh, heightened awareness and success. What, what are your thoughts on that? Napoleon Hill wrote a long book, um, and basically, I think the takeaway, someone once told me that you could summarize the entire book of Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, by three words. Th thoughts are things. I interpret that as something different. I uh, 
Claudia and I, my wife, we, we called it heightened awareness. We even have it on a board downstairs. Did you ever talk about somebody and all of a sudden they called you or you got an email or you saw their name in the newspaper? Yeah. You know, did you ever talk about a red Mustang convertible and all of a sudden you go out in the car, you drive on the freeway. Um, and I'm in California. We call them freeways here. Um, uh, because some of them are still free, thank God. Uh, yeah, but you you see the red Mustang convertible, yeah. All of a sudden, and it just how does the forces of the universe work like that? I think there's something in your you trigger in your brain that gives you that heightened awareness. Your brain, the, your brain's radar is working overtime to find that red Mustang convertible, or or all of a sudden you say, gee, whatever happened to Jimmy, that great uh, bass, uh, bass player, Jimmy Calabrese, and all of a sudden on the radio comes one of your songs or something like that, you know? It just happens, and I think we have to utilize that in business. We have to have that heightened awareness that I'm going to do a real estate deal. I'm going to find a buyer with uh, $25,000, $50,000 option consideration. I'm going to find a seller who is highly motivated to, uh, for a solution in real estate, to do a lease purchase. And so um, I think it's intense focus on one goal, on one accomplishment per day. Does that make sense? Also, I want to throw in there too. Also, the flip side is, you know, if you're not controlling those those thoughts, those things, then you can fall off track. And I, I feel, you know, having a mentor like Claude Diamond, uh, that helps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that helps. Uh, you know, helps you focus when you know if you go through the peaks and valleys, you hit a, hit a valley. And, you know, you're not feeling 100 percent when you have a mentor, someone that's like, you know, lift the weights, keep going, keep moving. You know, be someone because you. You know, you can't always you gotta have partners. You gotta have uh, trainers that'll help help push you through the I hard agree, times. I agree, Keep but you've got to have the right trainer, and you got to have a and you got to have a trainer who's successful in their own right, not an employee of a trainer or and a train another. You, you can't, you've got to have more than you've got to have someone with who has the passion you're trying to get, who is, has the success story truly earned. Okay, not just parroting words from some other guru. And you have to have, and the most important, accountability. Okay, yeah. you know, you and I, we talk, we talk on a regular basis. We motivate each other. We tell stories. We role play. Uh, we make minor course corrections and stuff. And, and I think everybody needs somebody like that. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Hey, so if you, you know, they always say if when the student is ready, the mentor will appear. I think the same is in heightened awareness. Um, you focus intensely on one thing and you'll make it happen. Um, I, 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 I see that all the time, by the way. Did you ever, were you ever a new employee at a job uh, or did you ever have an employee at a job? And they did fantastic the first week or two because they were so focused, so motivated, so passionate. And then their true nature starts to come out a little bit later and the level of That's performance good. diminishes. Did you ever uh, see that stuff? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it's, that's a good, uh, good point. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think when we're intensely focused on personal goals, social things, business, if we can keep that excitement in another video, we talked about passion. Okay. And reward. And enjoyment. Is it enjoyable? They, you know, to me, and maybe this is a topic for one more video, freedom. Maybe we should do another video just on the word freedom and what it means to have to do real estate and have that the, that ability of choice. Yeah, I, think, I believe it was from Brian Tracy I got the idea of trying to write down my goals every single day. And that helps, uh, you know, solidify where you want to go throughout the day and make sure that all your choices throughout the day are aligned to your goals. And, uh, oh, there you go. There you go. And it's got today's date on it. I yep. go through books like this every day. I write on things to do. And um, that's another video. Claude, how do you stay? How, how do you get stuff? How do you get shit done every day? Right, yeah. And here's my here's my planner right here. It's just Beautiful. <laughs> I Beautiful. like to go by a week weekly uh, i like to say one week at a time um, well wonderful smart. well this was well, a pleasure jim yeah thank you claude appreciate it hey guys once again this is jimmy the arizona rent own home guy you can call me at 602-529-1135 love to hear from you and i'll uh, talk to you soon thanks claude bye-bye jim always a pleasure
guys. It's Jimmy, the Arizona Red Zone home guy. And I'm here with Claude Diamond, my mentor. How's it going, Claude? It's going very well, Jim. Um, ask me that question that we had we were talking about before. It was yeah. a good one. Okay. Right, yeah. I wanted to ask you, uh, so do you have to be someone else to uh, to do real estate? Do I have to be Claude Diamond? Do I have to be Brian Tracy, uh, you know, to be a success? How? What's your thoughts on that? Well, the fact of the matter is, to the to all things, to thine own self, be true. Um, I think that uh, comes from Cyrano de Bergerac, um, you know, uh, who uh, he had his best friend who wrote these uh, uh, who, uh, who wrote these beautiful letters, and he had his friend write letters for him to romanticize the girl, uh, you know, and eventually she found out who was really writing the letters. Um, and it's a great Steve Martin movie like that too, yeah, by the way, he has, a, he has a big nose. He's a fireman in Boulder, Colorado. Um, the thing about it is, or the, one of the things, the greatest compliment I've ever received was from my daughter. She said, dad, you're just comfortable in your own skin, man. It, you know, I'm a self-conscious, um, little chicken. There's a little boy inside of me with a blanket over his head, like Linus. OK, it takes a long time to become self-aware, um, confident, um, just comfortable in your own skin. She's Becca said it best. And you don't have to be anyone else except Jimmy. I don't have to be anyone else except Claude. Can we learn? Can we take away from we talked in another video about Napoleon Hill or can Brian Tracy? I love Brian Tracy's psychology of success. I, I think it's one of the best audio um, uh, dissertations on personal achievement ever done. I love it. Um, you know, and, and the thing is we can take away from other people. We can learn from them, but then we want to apply and put our own secret sauce on it, our own personality. We want to be true to ourselves because it's so much easier to be, you know, um, my, you know who my favorite cartoon character is? Yep. Popeye. Popeye. Why? Because I am what I am. And that's, that's all, all I, yeah, I am what I am. That's all what I am. The guy eats spinach. He dates a, he dates an anorexic uh, a girl. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> but the thing is, I am what I am. That's all what I am. That is, that is more profound than Kirkgaard. Uh, you know, that is so, Yeah. it just says that, uh, you know, and I think when, here's the part, I'm going, I could do a seminar on this topic. It's, it's a psycho babbles, babbler's dream. Great question, by the way. Um, the thing about it is, do people sense when you're genuine? Yeah, I believe so. When you're reading a script from someone else, or you're not comfortable with that script because it's so repetitious and boring, when you're just yourself and you're, you, you're diminishing all those filters and things and political correctness, and you're just talking to one human being as another human being, how wonderful, it, uh, what do you, you know, don't you love when people are real and not pretentious or phony? Don't we love honesty? Are, don't we miss honesty in this, in this society of ours sometimes? Right. Now, I think that the, the worst place is, uh, you know, uh, an auto dealer. That's like the complete opposite of, you know. I work <laughs> I with, what, feel like, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I always feel like, you know, it's. They're so fake. They just want to be your your friend so bad, and it's just like as if they're reading a script. They're not, you know. Like you said, if the best way I've, seems like from what I'm learning from you, the best way to uh, sell is just be yourself because it's your personality that that's what yeah. is going to attract people. And if you got a lousy personality, change. Okay, <laughs> really. I am. Mean, my wife and I got a little side story here. This is a long, going to be a long video. We went to um, I'll tell. We went to a FedEx store on Saturday. Okay, you knew I was going to talk about that, right? <laughs> and we went there, and we were both in a good mood. We're all, we're ninety percent of the time we're in a good mood. Okay, uh, you know, um, and that's a couple that's been married for a, a few days, and um, a few days. And the thing about it is, uh, we went to the FedEx store, and there was a girl there on the counter. I had to send a FedEx. I was helping my daughter buy a car, and I had to sign all these car dealer documents. She's up in LA. I'm in San Diego. Too much information. Um, but the thing about it is, um, I went to the girl, how are you today? You know? And she got, you know, she kind of grunted something to me. And then she kind of just nodded, follow me to this side of the register. No interaction, no personality, no communication. Okay. I didn't like her. Okay. And when I don't like somebody, do you think I'm going to do business with them? 
again? Am I going to buy a car from them or buy Amway shampoo or do a real estate deal? How important is likability and trust, which is another another video for another day? How important <laughs> is it that we just be ourselves? And if she's not her, and if that's the way she truly is, then sometimes you have to be a, what we call you have to play a role. Even if your identity is a miserable sourpuss, a grumble bum, okay, on your outside, your role, you play the role that is necessary in order to get people to like you. Not to be disingenuous, but create an environment. Uh, and that's truly yeah. what, what actors do, don't they? Mm -hmm. A good actors, yeah. anyway. Yeah, they pull, it's still them, but they pull, pull up that other part. We've all had bad days. Have you had a, ever had a music gig where you were just in a, you had a cold or something, or you were just you were just not in the oh, mood? And, and when you get up on that stage, man, don't people want to see that you're into that you're grooving in the music there? Yeah, that's the only way to get through it is just to enjoy it, even though you're suffering, but to you know enjoy it and have a good time and right. And Be still, uh, yeah. What happens to your fans, your groupies, your audience if they see you're not having fun there? Yeah. You're, oh, yeah. Everyone feeds. Everyone feeds off each other. The, the energy, for sure. So in, say in music, that again. That was yeah, brilliant. Everyone feeds off the energy. So, so in a live performance, in sales is a live performance. You know, they, you're going to feed off each other. When you got to feed uh, off the energy. Yourself. So you got to be be yourself. We all have bad moods, or we don't feel well, or something. But play the role <coughs> as necessary in order to gain confidence, trust and likability with people. But to all things, to thine own self, be true. Be who you want to be. Be who you are. Don't try to be somebody else because it'll seem phony um, and people will not respond. Great words. All right, thanks, Claude. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for taking this uh, extra long video here. With us. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you bring out the best in me, man. You ask great <laughs> questions. Well, you do the same thing for me, Claude. I thank, really appreciate it. So thanks, guys. Thanks again. This is Jimmy, the Arizona rent own home guy with Claude Diamond, my mentor. You can call me at 602-529-1135 here in Arizona. Thanks, Claude. Appreciate it. Take care, Jimmy. You too.